viewers and friends, Andrew back again, and welcome to another episode of Michael Myers Mondays. Um, today we're going to be taking a quick look at the Anchor Bay Limited Edition tins of Halloween 4 and Halloween 5. Um, I'm sure most of you have seen these before, I know some of you own them in your personal collections, but they are two really, really nice editions um, that I really enjoy, so I thought we'd uh, take a quick look at them, so we'll start with Halloween 4 first. Okay, so here is the limited edition Halloween 4 Anchor Bay Tin. Um, awesome, awesome film, I absolutely love it. <clears throat> and this is a really, really nice release. It's also the rarer tin out of the two. Um, so we'll take a quick look at the contents inside. Um, there's not a lot, and out of the two tins, um, this one definitely has the least amount of content inside, um, which is a shame, but uh, you do get this little pamphlet. So the same artwork as the cover. Um, the back, which just has your chapter selection and a pretty cool image of Michael in the back. Open it up and you just get some information and a write-up on the movie. Then you also get the disc or the film on DVD. I uh, really, really like the discard on that. I think it looks awesome. Um, so that pretty much does it for the Halloween 4 limited edition Anchor Bay tin. Now we'll take a look at the Halloween 5 tin. Alright, so here is the Halloween 5 limited edition Anchor Bay tin and you get a little bit more um, content inside this tin. Now, to be honest, I'm not a massive fan of Halloween 5. It's one of my least favorite sequels within the franchise, but still this is a really really nice addition to have. So yeah, um, inside this release you get a, a rather thick booklet, cool image of Jamie there on the front cover, nothing much happening on the back, and just inside you get some uh, behind the scenes stills on the film, which is um, really, really awesome. Shame that a booklet like this didn't come with the Halloween 4 Anchor Bay tin, but um, yeah, really cool booklet. Um, it does not end there, you also get a Halloween 5 um, lobby card, which is uh, really, really cool. And this one also has the chapter selection on the back. And to finish things off, of course, you get the Halloween 5 movie on DVD um, with pretty awesome cover art. Alright, so that's the contents of the Halloween 5 limited edition Anchor Bay tin. Okay, so that was the limited edition Anchor Bay tins of Halloween 4 and 5. Uh, two really, really nice additions to have in any Halloween collection. Uh, both tins are out of print and they are rather hard to come by, but if you're a Halloween fan and you ever come across these for a really good price, I definitely recommend picking them up. Um, as I mentioned earlier in the video, the Halloween 4 tin is slightly harder to come by than the Halloween 5 tin, but yeah, two really, really nice additions. So that does it for another episode of Michael Myers Mondays. And before I go, um, I'm just wanting to let everyone know that I will no longer be doing this um, series on a weekly basis. I'm finding the commitment a little bit too much, and I'm kind of running out of ideas um, every week. So what I've decided to do is um, space these out a little bit more. I'm not going to end the series altogether because I'm really enjoying it, and I know a lot of you guys um, really like the series. So. I'm probably going to cut it back to once a month um, because yeah, I just sort of feel the weekly commitment is getting a little bit too much for me, but I still want to continue the series but probably on a once a month basis. Um, that way I can sort of focus on doing a lot of other videos as well at random 
um, and I especially want to really focus on my 80s series reviews for this year. So, um, yeah, that does it for another episode of Michael Myers Mondays. I'll probably be back with another one in about a month's time. So, hope you've enjoyed the video, and thanks a lot for watching.